Are you tired of spinning your wheels when it comes to fat loss, losing weight? You feel like you're doing the same thing over and over and over and you're yielding no results? I got the top three mistakes that people make when trying to lose fat coming at you right now. And number three, it'll be hard for you to believe. So stay tuned and take notes. What's going on YouTube? Seth Max, personal trainer, registered dietitian, helping people like you lose weight every single day. Got another video here for you, and this one's on my top three mistakes that people make while trying to lose weight. I have the absolute privilege of helping tons and tons of people lose weight every single day. And there's some common themes that I see with people who are just getting started before we really get them going in the team maxed out way. So I thought I would share those three reasons with you so that you don't have to spin your wheels, so that you can start making progress right now. Reason number one, not eating enough protein. Most people, when they go on a diet, they know they have to eat less. And so all they do is they eat less. They're in some sort of deficit from seven to 1100 calories every single day. And it doesn't really matter what it is they're eating. They just know that they have to eat less. And what this does is yes, you're absolutely going to be losing weight, but that's mistake number one. We don't wanna lose weight. We want to lose fat. You want to keep all of the muscle you possibly can while watching that number on the scale go down. So we wanna maintain as much muscle as possible, lose the fat, and we do that by eating protein. You have to have enough protein to sustain normal bodily function and then have enough to be rebuilding and building more muscle. What does this muscle do for you? Well, you get to keep your strength, you get to look the way you wanna look when you get to your goal weight, and it also helps you to burn more calories every single day to lose the fat faster. The more muscle you have, the more calories you can burn every single day. So if you want a good baseline, start with one gram of protein per pound of goal body weight. Start there in your caloric deficit and you'll see a big difference. All right, mistake number two, doing too much cardio and not enough weightlifting. So as we mentioned in mistake number one, not eating enough protein, you have to have an emphasis on building that muscle during this weight loss process. And the way to do that is by training the muscle, using weight resistance training to stimulate that muscle and actually get it to grow and rebuild itself. When you have bigger and stronger muscles, you will be able to burn more calories every single day. So if you only do cardio, say an hour a day, you're not stimulating that muscle to the point where it's going to grow. So baseline, here's how you fix this mistake. Get a good training program. It doesn't have to be perfect. Get a good one at least three to five times a week. Make sure you're utilizing progressive overload. If you don't know what that is, check out my video on progressive overload and then just stick to it. Three to five times a week, do that weight resistance training and stick to it. Not for three weeks, not for four weeks. I'm talking 12, 16 weeks, okay? And this leads me exactly to point number three. Mistake number three that people make while working on a fat loss goal is they are not consistent enough. You will go for 14 days and you will say, this doesn't work for me, I only lost a pound and you will quit. How many times has that happened? You will go, I'm starting Monday. Friday afternoon rolls around, diet goes out the window. Saturday morning comes around and you're not exercising. Sunday comes around, I'll start tomorrow. And you diet for four and a half days out of a seven day period which is about 65% a week, and you're trying to get A plus results with D effort. A 65% in school is a D. You're not gonna get no A plus results if you're only giving a D effort. Your consistency above all else matters on a day by day basis and a week to month to maybe even year basis. You will not lose 30 pounds in 30 days. Stop reading those magazines. It's gonna be one to two pounds of good healthy fat loss every single week if you can be consistent. We're talking nine out of 10 days, 29 out of 30 days. It's how long can you continue to execute this plan? Now, it absolutely does not have to be perfect, but it needs to be nine out of 10, 29 out of 30 days. You can't keep changing the plan because you think it doesn't work after two weeks. You've never tried anything for three or four months straight. So mistake number three that most people make when trying to lose weight is they give up too soon. They are not consistent enough. Any plan is good enough if you just put enough effort and consistency behind it. One day at a time, one decision at a time. Those decisions, those days built up over enough days will absolutely get you to your goals. So I know I said I would give you three mistakes and there they are, but here is a little bit extra for you. 
if you need that little extra push, that little extra accountability, I am always open to helping more people achieve real and long-term results. Go to my website, click the link, and download the First Form app today. You can connect with me and we can absolutely start crushing your goals. I'll be that accountability piece that you've been missing. The one, the little voice inside of your phone that says, hey, you need to do better. You can do better. You can stick to it. Guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment for what you want to see next.